Hey guys, this tutorial is going to cover how to insert and animate tables into your PowerPoint slideshow. Tables are a great way to display and summarize numerical data. They ultimately allow you to provide clear and concise information that stakeholders want to see. So as you can see, I've populated my slideshow with video game content. And so now what I'll do is create a new slideshow on here containing a table that will display numerical information about video games in recent years. So I'll just open up a new slide or yeah, create a new slide here and now I'll name this slide revenue by genre and I'll insert a table so in order to insert a table you want to go over to this insert tab and as you can see the second option right here is table so you want to click on that and a bunch of boxes here appear essentially these boxes indicate how big you want to make your table so I'm going to hover over to make this table 4x4 because that's how big I want to make my table. 4 rows by 4 columns. And so I'll just click on my mouse to insert it and there you have it. So now I want to populate this table. So as you can see uh, my cursor already goes onto the first box of this table. And so I'm going to name this box right here genre. And so I want to make I want to provide a uh, revenue for each genre from the years of 2012 to 2015. So I'll name these top columns by the year. So 2012, 2013, and 2014. So, or sorry, I'll name this between 2012 and 2014. And so I'll just list top three, three of the top genres of video games. So that's going to be shooters. Oops action and sports so I'm just going to continue on po continue to populate these rows with some uh, information and I'll just pause the video here and start it up again once I've populated the rest of this date, uh, table all right so as you guys can see I've populated this table with some data and Video games are a pretty big market. I, I did some research online to see how much global gaming revenues were and it was said to be around $91.5 billion, which is pretty crazy. Um, but anyways, going back to this table, um, also just to add a disclaimer here, um, the figures I've added within this table aren't actual, aren't real figures, so please don't cite me on any of this because it's not accurate. But anyways, uh, you could play around with this table and see how you like it within your slides. Um, if you don't like the color scheme of the table, you can always go back to table design and these top options here allow you to give it a different color uh, format. So just like that, you just kind of click on here and if you like a certain color right off the bat, you can go ahead and choose it. but. I'd say the original color followed the followed the color format of the slide as a whole, so I'm gonna just stick with that. All right, and so say if you wanted to insert new columns onto this table that you created, we go over to the layout option, and you'll see that there's a bunch of insert options right here. So insert left means it will insert to the left of what you have clicked so as you can see a new column appeared there if you want to say if I instead of 2013 I've accidentally wrote 2014 here and wanted to fill up this gap here and add a 2013 the year 2013 in there so what I would do is I'd click on 2012 and I just say insert right and there behold the new column appears right there now the same rule applies with call, uh, adding rows or columns. I mean, same rule applies when adding rows. So essentially, this insert above option lets you insert a new column above what you had clicked on within the table. So as you can see, I've clicked on the bottommost row. And so when I click above, it appears just above the cursor. Also, uh, if for whatever reason you want to merge two slides together, as you can see these, or for whatever reason, if you want to in, in merge two boxes in a table together, like these two boxes right here, as you can see they're split, you could 
what you want to do is highlight these and there's an option at the top called merge cells you just want to click that and these slides merge together and I'll just undo that and have it back to the original format you could also play around with the borders on the table so for instance I'll go to this option called table design and within table design there's this option called borders and it essentially allows you to you know uh, play around with the borders and create them in a way create your table in a way that you see fit so I'm just gonna highlight these let's see I'll highlight these three columns boxes in this column right here and I wanna add a what I want to do is add a border where a line appears right across the headings so I'll click on this one right here and I'll click on borders oops and so I'm gonna stick a border to the very right of the slides I've chosen like that and now I want a border to appear just below the years so I'll click on the years oops so click on the years as you can see these three boxes highlighted and I want to click on the arrow and now I want to click on I want to create a bottom border there just like that as you can see a border sort of appeared there and you could play around with the thickness of the border just like so so right now it's on one and you could just create it as thick as you want and yeah but now let's move on to animating the table so in order to animate the table what you want to do is simply click on the table and go over to the animations tab once you're here you could click on any of these animations listed here so for instance I'll just use this animation right here and so let's just preview this slide to see how it works and there you have it but um, say that during your presentation you don't want certain columns or rows showing right away and want to animate say one column or row at a time there's a bit of an artificial way to do this I'm currently using a Mac but from my experiences with Windows I believe that there's a better way Windows users can animate tables but the method I'm about to show works well for Windows users as well so what you want to do is go over to the insert tab and then go over to shapes and then once you're on shapes you, you want to uh, click on the rectangle and so what you want to now do is well what I'm about to do is uh, cover the information between each of the years between 2012 and 2014 with the rectangle so I'm gonna use it just to cover this information like that and as you can see the default color of the rectangle is blue and in order to change the color of it you want to go over to shape fill and just click here and for this one I'm going to change the color to white so as you can see and the color of the rectangle changed to white one thing you also want to do is um, take get rid of this outline that appears around the rectangle so to do this just click on the rectangle again and there's this option right here called shape outline and I'm just gonna click on no outline so the outline gets um, goes away and now I'm gonna what I want to do is put this rectangle over the next two columns as well so a quick way to create a duplicate of this rectangle is to hit Command D for Mac users or Control D for uh, Windows users. And so I'm just going to put it over these. Just cover the columns like that. And now what you will want to do is click on the first rectangle here and go back over to animations. But instead of choosing the animations that appear right here what you want to do is actually click on exit effects so click on the first rectangle and go over to exit effect and now I'll choose the flyout one 
So as you can see, once I click on that, the animation, the rectangle leaves the slide. I'll use the same animation for the next two uh, rectangles. So fly out, fly out, and I'll now show you a preview of the actual slide to show what happens. So this was my initial animation, and now as you can see, as I go through this, the rectangles start leaving. Just like that. And yeah, there's nothing more to it. If you guys had any troubles following uh, the steps I showed on this video, please leave a comment down below. And this concludes my video. Thanks for watching.